What is going on, everybody? Hello. It is Pixel Partners here, and welcome to Phoenix Raiders Tourney again. Yeah. When we left off, this creepy freaking. Ugh. He's here getting DL6 evidence. Is we're starting to get down to the bottom of it, but he's trying to get to the end of it. And because I learned that what they wear around their neck, him and Edge, is called the cravat. Or something like that. As long I, as like, it is the I, correct I, thing. Yeah. All right. So, dog, what are you doing here? Get out. Uh, um, Mr. Edgeworth is your student, right? Yeah. Romanticist who still can't shed that veneer of amateurism. Just like his father. Always second rate. Oof. Mr. Von Karma. You had an extra ground with Mr. Greg Edgeworth, didn't you? Me? A grudge against a mere defense attorney? Why? Because he dealt a blow to your otherwise perfect trial record? Hmm. <laughs> so you did. But what I don't get is... Why'd you take his son under your wing afterwards? Yeah. The son of your most bitter rival. That doesn't make sense. Hmm. That, my dear attorney, is none of your business. That's right. Maybe this is all a long con. He <laughs> wanted to fuck that kid up. Maybe that's why he's kind of more on the prosecutor's side. Because he wanted to make someone that's different from his father. Because he can't really fight with Miles Edgeworth when he's, you know, on a prosecution side. I guess? I don't know. Maybe he wanted to be like a daddy. You will be L my like, disciple. Like, like papa. <laughs> yes. All right, tomorrow's drop. Tomorrow will be the last day of this trial. It's been a while since I've had a defense attorney last this long. Still, you will lose in the end. Miles Edgeworth will admit his own guilt. His guilt of 15 years ago, you mean? Uh. Hmm. <laughs> You're quite the researcher. Looks like I have to kill you. <laughs> if you've done your homework so well, then certainly you must understand. You know what Miles Edgeworth will tell the court tomorrow? You're right. <sighs> so Von Karma is going to bring up DL6 in court tomorrow. Why else would he be here? Yeah. <laughs> all right. Um, so that's all the talking I can do. Let me see if I can... Huh. Here's my <laughs> badge, <laughs> big fuck. <laughs> is this a safe idea? No. Yes, it's all I got. <sighs> Mr. Von Karma, have a look at this. Hmm. This was you, wasn't it? You instructed Yanni Yogi to commit murder. Yanni Yogi. How many years has it been since I've heard him called by that name? He's a fool. I told him to burn it after he read it. <gasps> so you admit it. You, you wrote Mr. Yogi this letter. Yes, my dear defense attorney. Thank you for taking the trouble to bring it to me. No! You've saved me from a lot of needless hassle. M what? N Nick! What is that thing? Uh. A stun gun. For self defense, usually. Indeed. 600,000 volts will course through your body like a dog touching an electric fence. 600,000. Oh, don't worry. People don't die from it, usually. Now. Give you shouldn't me the have letter. shown him the fucking letter! I guarantee it's the only thing I could have done. No! No! Whoa! What are you- N Nick! Run! Ah! Oh, Jesus! Uh... Maya! Out of my way! Did he just shock both of them? It would appear to be that way. Uh, uh. They died. Bad ending. <laughs> uh, he got us. The letter's gone, of course. And he took the DL6 evidence. Are you sure evidence. we... That was a All good idea? It. Back to having no clues. Wait. Maya jumped first. Maya! Is she okay? Ma Maya! Uh-oh. Maya, open your eyes. She's dead. Maya! Girl? <gasps> oh, God. <laughs> the letter. Did he take it? Huh? Oh, yeah. Are you okay? Ugh. I... 
I couldn't stop him. I jumped as fast as I could, but one shot from that thing knocked me out cold. I'm useless. I'm no good as a lawyer or a medium. I can't even call my sister. Not even now, when we need her the most. I wish I hadn't woke up at all. Dang. Maya! Uh, there has to be some way I can help her. I better do something about her self-confidence first. Huh? Maya, she's holding something. What's that? A bullet? DL6 incident, evidence number seven, taken from the heart of Gregory Edgeworth. I remember. Whoa. Von Karma was holding this when Maya jumped him. Still bears clear ballistic markings. Maybe huh. markings that match the gun. Maybe oh. that third bullet wasn't from the... Well, that would be right, because... Wait. Maybe it was Von Karma on the boat. Hmm, that would be interesting. Because that would make it the same gun that he used back in DL6 if it was his gun. But then why would he write down the letter saying what to do if it was him doing it? To make it seem like it wasn't him doing it? I'm not sure. Hang on. I'll prove it to you, Maya. You're most definitely not useless. I'll prove it to you in court tomorrow. Poor girl, Jesus. So I guess we were supposed to do that. Yeah, I figured that's the only thing we could do. Still. You can't always, you can't have it be easy. You gotta yeah. add some palpable tension, dog. She said she fucking wished she hadn't woken up at all. Oh, poor thing. <laughs> all right, final day of the trial. Phoenix, you better get her all the cheeseburgers she wants. All the fucking cheeseburgers. Uh, we love you, 3,000. <laughs> Jesus, this is it. Judgment Day. We're in the end game oh, now. <laughs> <laughs> Today, things are going to get settled at last. A lot of things. Whatever it takes. Ah! Oh, what's the big idea? S -s Sorry, Nick. I only touched your shoulder. I guess the shock hasn't worn off from my run-in with the stun gun yesterday. I don't think that's how it works, but okay. <laughs> yeah, anyhow, today's the last day of the trial. Good luck, Nick. I feel like I would have known by now if someone could get stunned by a stun gun and all of a sudden they're fucking electric boy. I know, right? <laughs> Especially the next day. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, Maya. It was static. Edward's like, oh, what? <laughs> really bad static electricity. Yeah. Edward's looking glum as always. Wouldn't you? Help on camera doesn't push him too hard. <sighs> what, what are you doing? <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry. Does she have like a new stun gun to defend herself that she's trying out? I, I just thought I'd cheer you up with a pat on the back. Jesus Christ, Maya. <laughs> Maybe you should go outside and discharge. Like a fucking Pikachu. It sounds real wrong. <laughs> I was trying. <laughs> All right, good idea. Trying to electrocute anyone on your way out. She's Pikachu now. Warrior Bell! Oh boy. Oops. Sorry, Gumshoe. <laughs> What's gotten into that girl? Electricity! Detective Gumshoe! <laughs> morning, Miss Edgeworth! Uh, good morning. How did it go, Detective? Have no fears, promise I'll oh, wait, capture we said, our runaway you, you, caretaker. You, you said, how did it go, Whoops, Detective? <laughs> I own person named him. I just brought him in, took on night, pal. Thanks, Detective Gumshoe. You must be tired. Detective Gumshoe? <laughs> Actually, after that shock I got in the way, I feel pretty good! Yay! Yogi says he's forgotten his own name. <gasps> we can shock him! But that has to be a lie. <laughs> Why would he want revenge on Edgeworth if he couldn't remember his past? He does remember. And I'm going to prove it. Shock him! Be like, hey, Maya. <laughs> Maya, poke this dude. <laughs> <laughs> okay! <laughs> <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> I remember clearly now. The ring is gone. <laughs> <laughs> Court is now in session for the trial of Miles Edgeworth. It's just like gone where? T to the rains down in Africa. Oh my god. <laughs> All right. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Mm -hmm. The prosecution is ready. What? Oh, he's never said what? that before. What? Uh oh, right. Very well. You actually said what they were supposed to. We have reached the final day of our proceedings in this trial. I ask that the prosecution submit decisive evidence. 
Understood. What? what, what? Come on, don't be odd in the science by every little thing he says. <laughs> very, 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 very well, Mr. Von Karma, your opening statement. Right. Thanks to Detective Gumshoe's efforts, the boat rental shop caretaker has been arrested. In yesterday's trial, the defense asserted that the caretaker was the murderer. However, the caretaker has yet to confirm this. I'd like to ask the defense to cross-examine him as much as necessary. Oh, very, well, very, very well. Please bring the witness into the courtroom. Okay. He wants us to cross-examine him. I wonder if he realizes that we have the bullet. I don't think so. Hmm. But I think he realizes that we... Pressing him might put Edgeworth in the spot for something. Mm -hmm. Because we press him and, it, and it's for um, the previous case. Yeah. That can add bearings, so... Ladies and gentlemen of the court, I believe you all remember our witness. He lives in the boat rental shop on the lake from where he witnessed the incident. In addition, he has currently lost memory of his name and identity. Witness, why did you run away yesterday? The witness was not running away, as he will now testify. Uh, I, I see. Hello? Please begin your testimony. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, here we go. Why well, I left I court. <laughs> uh, I'm really sorry about just leaving yesterday like I did, but I wasn't running away or nothing. I uh went to buy some food for Polly, see? I figured I got nothing to do with this incident anyhow. Uh, I mean, I need one of those motive things, right? And I don't got one. Uh, so my testimony <laughs> essay stands as is. I just realized something. You kind of sound like Ed. Ed? What do you mean? From Ed, Ed and Eddie? Nah. A Ed's little bit. Like I mean, like his his way early on I, I, voice. I, 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 I guess. Yeah. Oh, come on, Double D. See? Okay. I told you. Okay, that works. All right, this is you. <laughs> <laughs> Let's begin the cross-examination, shall we? I told you. Huh? Yeah. He has to know his name. Yanni Yogi. You're yeah. Yanni Yogi, and I'm going to prove it. I think that might be what... Show him a Yu-Gi-Oh card. <laughs> God damn it. Do you recognize this dark magician? <laughs> yeah. I think Von Karma might want us to get in about uh, him being a... Uh, to buy some food for Polly. Fairly got nothing to do with this instance anyhow. I'll should press I, that. Should I have the... Go ahead and pull up the yeah. walkthrough, so... Just in case. You've lost much of your memory. Is that correct? <gasps> yep, seems like it. Then how could you know that you didn't have anything to do with this incident? Yeah. Um. Exactly. Or, or maybe you're lying about not having your memory. Huh? You know exactly who you are. The witness has testified quite clear that he has no memory of who he is. That's called lying. If you claim he's lying, then show the court proof. <sighs> how am I supposed to... Prove what's going on in that old codger's head. It's impossible. Hmm. I'm glad you've come to your senses, Mr. Wright. Farewell, witness. Please continue. So that's what I need to prove. I made me one of those motive things right now. I got one. I would do that if I had the letter still. But uh, it's gone. So do I have anything that proves... Final day trial? Yes. Oh, boy. Final day trial. All right. Not Polly. Um, I mean, I would say DL6 case file. Uh, Does that represent? No. No? No. The fuck would I present then? The metal you're, detector, You're not presenting obviously. anything yet. I'm not? No. You're not. Okay. All right, so maybe the motive thing? Hold it! Hold it! How can you say you had no motive? I say you do. You had a grudge against Edgeworth and the victim, Robert Hammond. That's why you took revenge you on them. took revenge? Please don't make me repeat myself, Mr. Wright. This witness has no memory of anything beyond several years ago. He can't hold a grudge. It's impossible. I have to prove he's lying about his memory. Otherwise, it's going to be the same thing over and over yeah. until the trial ends. What? What? Might I say something, Mr. Wright? E yes, yes, Your Honor. You said 
You've been saying the same thing now over and over. You've been calling the witness's memory of the past or lack thereof into question. But does this really have anything to do with the current case? Yeah. Of course, Your Honor. The witness has said he has nothing to do with this case and no motive. Both of these statements are lies. Oh, da, oh, da. Mr. Wright, there's a serious problem with your claim. Or are you saying... Are you saying you know who this witness is? Of course, Your Honor. <laughs> now this is interesting. I would like to know myself, so who is he? <laughs> Don't play dumb, Von Karma. God damn it. Mr. Wright, please tell us this witness's name. <laughs> Gregory Obviously, Edgeworth. it's Robert Hammond. No. <laughs> you know, the guy that's dead that's <laughs> being... All right. Yanni Yogi. It's Gregory Edgeworth. His name is Yanni Yogi, a former court bailiff. You probably know what? him since you're so fucking old. Yogi? That name seems familiar. I forgot. You're in the early stages of Alzheimer's. Oh. My bad, dog. Uh, oh! Yanni Yogi from the DL6 incident. I think it's the judge would have heard of it. It was such a famous case. But what does this mean? Your Honor, if this man is Mr. Yogi, then he has a clear motive. Hmm... Mm -mm, boy. <laughs> Jumping to conclusions again, Mr. Wright. This man, this witness, is Yanni Yogi. Fascinating. However, how do you propose to prove this to the court? Mm. This is a court of law, as you may recall. You need proof. And allow me to repeat once more that the witness has lost his memory. This is it. I have to do this now. If I can't prove he's Yogi right here, right now... Now I've got nowhere yeah. else to go. Nick, how are you going to prove it? How can you prove that he's Yanni Yogi? It's okay. It's actually quite simple. Your Honor, please take this man's fingerprints. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> then we'll compare the fingerprints on a file for Yanni Yogi 15 years ago. I see. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. Huh? <laughs> I'm so very, very sorry, Mr. Wright. But why? He uh, took all the fucking files. They don't have anything to compare it uh, with. This do we? The witness what? has no fingerprint. What did he like burn his hand or something so he doesn't have fingerprints anymore? What? What? No fingerprints. That's hardcore. Huh, 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 huh. You see, before I worked as a caretaker, uh, I worked at a chemical plant. I burned my fingers working with this stuff. Yep. What? 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 <laughs> Yogi, you sneak. You burned your fingerprints off to hide your past. Damn. That's wow. hardcore. <laughs> Fucking metal. <laughs> For real. <laughs> well, if the witness has no fingerprints, I guess we'll not be able to prove his identity. No. Hmm. Well, well what do you do, that. Mr. Wright? Tisk tisk tisk. Uh. Hmm. It seems that the case has been decided, no. 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 I know what happened. I know everything. I I just can't prove it. Which he sucks. took that fucking letter. But no, I can't let it out like this. I can't lose. There has to be another way. There's snap. no one who can testify as to who this witness is. <gasps> no one. Nick, what are we going to do? Bring the bird in. <laughs> I didn't even consider that he might have erased his fingerprints. What do I do? Hmm. Well, Mr. Wright... Perhaps like the cross examine his parrot for a little comic <gasps> relief, hmm? Actually, no. I want that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, very funny. You're a sore loser, Von Karma. Or sore, sore winner, Von Karma. He's like, wait. Huh. Wait a second. Bring the fucking bird in. <laughs> cross examine his parrot. What is it, Nick? No. You're not going to. Your Honor. The defense would like to take Mr. Von Karma up on his proposal. Take Mr. Von Karma up? On my. Proposal? Exactly, Your Honor. I would like to cross-examine the witness's <laughs> pet parrot. That screen. That shot right there. <laughs> what the fuck oh, is court order, now? Order. Uh, Phoenix Wright, have you finally <laughs> lost your mind? What, only my marbles. <laughs> what do you think, Mr. Von Karma? Uh, well... Need you even ask? This is a false. I object. 
Oh, he objected his objection. Wait a second. You were the one who suggested I cross-examine the parrot, Von Karma. Sarta sarcastically or not. Sarcastically? Sarcastically. I have a right to do so, as you suggested. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. What if you're so desperate? Then please be my guest. Ah. Of course, should you go through with this, and nothing comes of it, then I hope you're ready for the consequences. Nick, this is crazy. Well, still want to go through with your little game? Yes. No, yes, I'm doing it. Let the parrot take the stand. <laughs> I will cross-examine her, Your Honor. Uh, this is the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. Von Karma's rigged every person's testimony, every piece of evidence. Except the parrot. She's my last chance. At least, I think so. Bailiff, bring in the parrot. I mean, at least I think the old guy has some kind of memory issue because the parrot does remember things yeah, for him. Yeah, it's like, hey, what's... And I was about to say, what's hey, my name? Polly, what's my name? <laughs> Be great. All of a sudden, the old guy gets up, strangles the bird. Whoops! <laughs> Can't see what's wrong. Quite a bird. Right? Please tell us your name. Oh, we, we gotta say it in a nice way, otherwise it's not gonna speak. Name? Judge, it's not how birds work. <laughs> the witness is ignoring me. <laughs> it must hurt to be ignored by a bird. <clears throat> Very well, witness. Who is your owner? Please uh, testify for us. This is fucking wicked. <laughs> fucking hell. Oh, witness testimony. <laughs> Who is your owner? Dots. Hello. Hello. The end. <laughs> Fuck. We have to fucking press it so it'll fucking talk. Mm, certainly the most concise testimony we've had so far. <laughs> well, beginning of cross examination. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Right. <laughs> what are you going to do, Nick? Uh, <laughs> I, I don't know. What do we do, Maya? Hmm. We gotta talk about the fucking thing. Who is your owner? <laughs> <clears throat> All right. What do you mean by hello? <laughs> I know. All we have is the hello and dots. Uh, and we press and see if I can get it to speak. And then there yeah. must be a piece of evidence you probably have. <laughs> you can't just say hello. Expect this to get anywhere. I want you to testify. My, you talk to her. Right. Uh, what do I say? Oh my god, I almost today to go to the next line. I didn't realize oh it was gonna be this. Oh god. Um. Hmm. I'm gonna go ahead and save it quick. Yeah. To save. Should I? Do you want me to check? Go ahead and check. Just in case. Because I mean, I want to say it would be something as. Well, okay. So. I was gonna say number one, we could say what's the safe number to show that it remem it remembers things for the owner. That's uh -huh. not just bullshitting. This could be an open-ended one because what's your name is obviously the which name is the obvious one of what to ask to get the name. But by saying have we forgotten something, you can talk about DL six. Hmm. But you know what? Just what's your name? What's your name? <laughs> Maybe I should get her to say her name. Polly, Polly, what's your name? I mean, what's your name? Polly, Polly. Ah. Mr. Wright, I think we've established that this parrot is named Polly. Geist. <laughs> Does this have anything to do with her owner's identity? Um. E um I'm all safe? E and say. Of course. Of course. Yes, it does. I mean, it is his parrot. <laughs> Fascinating. It came to the parrot's name will prove her owner's identity. Because you, you have to say her name before you ask her things. Nick, don't you think you're taking the bluffing a little too far? Listen, we're not here to answer the question of who is the caretaker. We're here to prove that he is Yanni Yogi. All we have to do is tie the name Polly to Yogi. Your Honor. The proof is that the parrot's name reveals the caretaker's I identity is... Uh... Fucking... Uh. Fucking... Let's see, the parrot... Answers to the name Polly. Uh. So... Oh. Maybe it's because it answers to the name Polly? We present the parrot to the parrot? No. No. So all I have is... The, D the DL6 uh. case file? 
I mean, that's what she knows about. Yeah. The DL6 case file? That's quite a large file you have there. Which page is this proof on then? Show us or stop wasting our time. Hmm. Very well. Mr. Wright, please show us the page. Where in this file is the information connected to this parent's name? Um. Fucking. This is why we what? have a walkthrough. Because, I mean, I can figure out. Um. The case summary didn't really say anything about I won't about tell you yet. I'll let you Holly. figure out what you might think it might All right, be. So the victim data would be uh, Edgeworth's. Okay, this is the case summary. Uh, elevator, district court house, air in the elevator was oxygen appeal at the time. No clues found on the scene. Yeah, Gregory, Gregory Edgeworth. Defense attorney trapped in the elevator returning from Lost Travel to Sun. Yeah. I was Edgeworth age nine. Suspect data, Yami Yogi. Y Yami oh. Yogi? Polly Jenkins committed suicide. There Whoa, we go. Oh, his fiance's name was Polly? Now, <gasps> I... Okay, I feel bad for not reading the actual case files when we got them. Oh, my God. Because they didn't talk about that when we discussed the case file and the suspect data. Yeah. I did not realize that his fiance committed suicide. That's a big fucking motive to get revenge. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Suspect data. Jesus Christ. <laughs> We're, we never read anything that we get. I mean, we haven't had a we haven't had a file like that before, though. To be honest. Still, we never so, we never uh, inspect everything that we get. It's on the suspect data page. Uh, this page is all the information about Yanni Yogi. Right after he was arrested, his fiance committed suicide. See? Mm, indeed, it does say that. Yes. What was his fiance's name? Polly Jenkins. <gasps> Polly. Exactly, Your Honor. He wanted to remember the name of his fiance who had committed suicide. That's sad. That's why he named his parrot after her. I see. I guess that is possible. Bah! A mere coincidence, that's all. You fuck. My granddaughter has a call she ca has a dog she calls Phoenix. I have a stuffed well, dog Phoenix I call Wright. Phoenix. <laughs> well, Mr. Phoenix, right? Does that make you my granddaughter's fiance? Yes. No. She's only seven years she's only no. seven years old. <laughs> Mmm, indeed. Alone, it is a little weak for evidence in a murder trial. You would need some other corroborating evidence. Where am I going to find that? This is you. Oh, Nick, we're getting closer. Don't look at that thing yet. One more. If we can just get one more piece of evidence. Right. But what? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Very well, witness. <laughs> you may continue. Um, dit, 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 dot, dots, 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 uh, maybe if I press that again? Witness, you can't just say hello and expect, god damn it. Yeah. Why don't you testify? Why you talk to her, right? Right, uh, right. uh what do I say? Oh, wait. Um, have we forgotten something? I think now's the time to say that. Uh... It is, uh, I mean, we already gotten the name down. The safe number only proved that it's to remember things, but... I'm gonna say, have we forgotten something? Okay. Why are you bouncing like that? Did you already look for it in the walkthrough? By accident. <laughs> All right, then what am I supposed to do then? What's the safe number? Okay, so then I'm supposed to prove that she remembers things. Yeah. Wait! That's why 1228 was so fucking big. December 28th! I thought it, I thought, I thought that number oh clicked my in my God. head. <laughs> Maybe wow. I'll get her to say that number of the safe. Huh? The safe? Why? Let's just try to get her to say anything, okay? Polly, what was the number to the safe in the shack? One, two, two, eight. One, two, two, eight. My, what a reckless parrot. Well, Mr. Wright, you aren't claiming that this number has something to do with the caretaker. Actually, it does, dog. <laughs> <laughs> and we just realized it ourselves. Actually, it does. That's why I had her say it. I thought the number was very randomly specific. I was like, yeah. why is that number clicking to me? And then... 1228. <laughs> Ridiculous. How can the number to a safe tell us who the caretaker is? Show us your proof. I could possibly link this number to the caretaker's true identity. All right, now, I don't, I don't know anything about this. Uh, well, I mean, that would be the DL6 file. Once again. Because the date of the murder, the summary. It must be, yeah. Uh... The DL6 case file. 
Why is this obsession you have with that case? Mr. Wright, we're in this file or something relating to that safe number. I like how they're actually having you go through the file to be like, yeah. what, what do you mean on that? But it's right yeah, there, 1228 is when it happened. Oh, no, I don't need the case summary. The case summary. It's on the case summary page. The case summary? Specifically, the date on which the DL incident, or DL6 incident occurred. The date of the incident? December 28th? Why, that's today's date, 15 years ago. And the number on that safe is 1228. Ah! He used the date of the DL6 incident as the number for his safe, Your Honor. That's how important that date was to him. I see. It certainly is an interesting coincidence. People often do set their secret numbers to dates. Bruh, this is not tangible proof. I set my ATM card's number to 0001 because I'm number one. Uh, thanks for giving us your ATM card <laughs> number. This has nothing to do with a date. Nothing. That's enough. I think we've reached a conclusion here. This is a mere coincidence, that's all. No. <sighs> We've still got. We've got to say that one last yes, thing again. Yes, right. True, it's a possibility. However, two coincidences at the same time seems more like a pattern to me. What? What are you saying? Summon the caretaker of the boat shop. Oh, I guess we're done with the bird then. Immediately. Well. <laughs> you would think she she would say, no deal. Six. Yeah. What nurse? Tell us your name. And you know what? He's gonna say his name. Next time. Oh Jesus Christ! The cliffhangers are real. It's a, it's a, it's, it's, it's a momentary cliffhanger for me too, so I hate it. But I only for like five seconds. It's that's still momentary. It's too long a time. <laughs> <laughs>